Look at this PDF file. These are all the technologies to help the elderly nowadays. We have medicine containers that reminds them when they last took the medicine, when it's time to take their meds again. And we have self-driving cars. It's about to happen soon, maybe. And we have the Hector robot. And we have telemedicine. So these are all the new inventions, the gadgets, the new technology to try to ease the lives of older adults. You can see that. Do you think these technologies are a good thing or a bad thing to older adults? Or is somewhere in the middle, they are good and bad? I think they can be good and bad. So like with mm -hmm. the self-driving car, mm -hmm. um, it could be really good because you could have like a business call or something that you can't quite pay attention to the road with. Mm -hmm. But then again, it comes with, you don't know if it's going to be exact on what you need. Mm -hmm. Yes. And are these technology cheap or they can be costly? Will they be covered by insurance? Are these technology cheap? Can they afford it if they don't have insurance? More Will than likely, they... no. Sorry? Sorry? More than likely, if you don't have insurance, then it's going to be hard um, getting the new technology. Mm -hmm. So this tells us that not everybody goes through the process of aging in similar ways. Some are more fortunate than others. This is what we call digital divide. There are disparities among people's ability to use, to access and to afford technologies. And this digital divide is also manifested in older people's life. Yeah, this is good, but not everybody can afford it. And some older adults can't even afford their meds. Some poor people for their chronic conditions. And this is good, especially for the very old individuals, especially when they have neuropathy, diabetes, as they advance in their age. It's hard to drive. And this may help them get around. But is definitely not cheap. Not everybody can afford. The same with the robots. It helps elderly do chores, but they are not cheap. The same with telemedicine. They have to have reliable internet connection. Not everybody has that, especially elderly who live in poor neighborhoods in rural remote areas they are not going to have reliable internet connection. So this causes disparities in the process of aging, which we call the digital divide. And if elderly, even if they can afford this technology, will they feel safe using them? Or they will be monitored to some degree. Will they feel safe having the alarm system to monitor whether they are going to fall or not and somebody is going to come? It's somewhere on the right. You cannot see it now. The four monitoring systems, they are not cheap. But are they going to infringe on people's privacy in their homes? The surveillance systems so to speak. It's good. If somebody fell or fall, paramedics can come right away because of all these technologies. But are they going to compromise their confidentiality and privacy 
for using these technologies? Is that going to affect their quality of life? Think about this for a second. So is technology beneficial or harmful to society? Any question, comments? And you have a discussion due on Monday, do you know that? It's on criminal celebrity. If you know of a person, just talk about that person in 50 words or more. No less than 50 words. If you don't know of a person, just Google it and see what you find. Any question about anything 